As per the World Health Organization report, India has 69.2 million people living with diabetes. Such a grim scenario warrants immediate measures for shifting to sugar-free or low-calorie products considering the huge social and economic burden the country may suffer in wake of the continued upward spiral of diabetes prevalence. The challenges get further compounded amidst the growing clamour over the potential health risks posed to human health by the consumption of popular low-calorie artificial sweeteners. CSIR, Institute of Himalayan Bioresource Technology, Palampur, a constituent laboratory of Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, has developed a cultivar of stevia which is processed for making calorie-free sweeteners with improved palatability and sweetness almost 300 times higher than the sucrose or cane sugar. Our institute has a vision to be the global leader in developing technologies for boosting bioeconomy through sustainable utilization of Himalayan bioresources for societal, industrial and environmental benefits. The agrotechnology developed by IHPT is emerging as the real solution to tackle the seemingly insurmountable challenge posed by diabetes to our country. CSI IHPT has uh, developed the good agriculture practices for stevia for different agroclimatic conditions to getting the maximum yield. Agriculture practices mean nursery raising, from nursery, how to raise the plant from seed, through seed, how to raise the plant through tissue culture, how to plant um, seedling through stem cutting or vegetative propagation. Then how, when to transplanting, how to transplanting and how much plant, plant number of plants should be accommodated per unit area and when to irrigate, how to irrigate and how much water should be given to the plant and how much fertilizer to be given to the plant for getting the maximum yield. Globally, the market of stevia is rapidly growing. The market penetration in India, which consumes around 2.6 crore tons of sugar per year, has gained significant momentum with the Food and Safety Standards Authority of India having approved stevia as a sugar substitute in November 2015 for 11 food items. Considering the growing consumer demand of stevia and its potential to improve the farmer income substantially, CSIR IHPT has successfully introduced stevia as commercial crop with standardized agrotechnology package for better productivity and quality. The highlighting feature of the IHPT developed stevia cultivar is that it offers a unique composition of steviol glycosides with a higher content of ribodioside A and lower content of steviocide, thereby ensuring a better quality of sweetness profile enabling processes to develop a highly palatable natural sweetener. Based on the higher proportion of ribodioside A as compared to the other glycoside, which imparts higher degree of uh, sweetness potency to this particular variety. It also has a higher uh, biomass up to 3.5 tons per hectare of dried leaves, which gives high yield potential, which can be utilized by the farmers for the farming community. CSIR, Institute of Himalayan Bioresource Technology, Palampur, adopted the hybridization and selection approach to develop the improved stevia cultivar. Stevia is propagated by seeds, division of suckers, vegetative cuttings and tissue culture. Seeds are sown in nursery beds having a good mixture of sand, soil and organic manure. This is followed by light irrigation till the seedlings are developed for the transplantation stage. Transplantation in the field in India is done during the months of February to March in tropical and subtropical regions and during the months of March to April in cold regions in order to avoid the periods of extreme temperatures. After transplantation, fertilizer 
is applied in the stevia fields. This is immediately followed up with irrigation and watering the fields regularly till the arrival of monsoon. Regular weeding and other interculture operations are required to ensure proper plant health at the harvesting stage. First harvest is taken at 90 to 110 days after transplanting and subsequent harvests are taken at 50 to 65 days intervals. The harvested crop is dried and the leaves are separated from the stems for further processing into development of calorie-free stevia sweetener in liquid and powdered forms. Stevia is now cultivated across 2,000 acres in Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh benefiting over 2,500 farmers with estimated employment generation of over 2 lakh man days annually. CSIR CSIR IHBT provides us guidance from time to time. When we face problems like excess moisture, they guide us. In addition, the institute is also providing planting materials to the farmers throughout India. CSIR IHBT has moved up in the value chain by commercializing and processing technology of stevia leaves into stevia liquid drops to a private player in Palampur and in the process creating local employment. Our institute has played a very significant role in developing agro and processing technologies around stevia. We have developed varieties which are farmer friendly. We have developed agro technologies which are easily adopted by the farmers. And because of these two major reasons, cultivation of stevia has spread throughout the country. Stevia cultivation is truly emerging as a win-win scenario with its massive potential to manage the diabetes menace in the country by offering a natural calorie-free sweetener and also catalyze the growth of farmer incomes who have been commercially struggling with non-remunerative crops over a period of time.